They continued to clash with security forces into the early hours of Thursday morning. Now three straight nights of violence in Turkey. In Istanbul, the sound of tear gas being fired echoes through the city. Scores of protesters arrested, scores injured. They knew their actions would entice police retaliation. They demonstrated and used fireworks as weapons nonetheless. This recent flare in anti-government anger was sparked by the death of 22-year-old Ahmed Atakan. He died during a protest. Witnesses say he suffered a blunt trauma to the head, while police deny responsibility, saying he fell from a rooftop. Speaking a day after the funeral on Wednesday, the Turkish president said it was a controversial subject, but one he was saddened by. I am deeply upset over this loss of life. I extend my condolences to his entire family. These things should not be happening in our country. Loss of life is no joke. The necessary investigations will be carried out. Whatever the result is, it will be shared with everyone. But first, a thorough investigation must be conducted. In the southern city of Hatay, around 200 people confronted police. And in the capital, Ankara, protesters gathered near the site where a Sunni mosque is expected to be built. They too were dispersed. The protests here are believed to be part of wider inflamed sectarian tensions, following weeks of mass anti-government protests that swept the country earlier this summer. Opponents say the wave of discontent with the government's increasingly authoritarian style has not gone away. Katerina Mo, BBC News.